Hurry. I think we gotta go this way. Or did we come from that way? I'm confused. God, he's ugly. So they fall from trees now. Awesome. Oh, I see. Okay. There's a thing there. Got a topaz. Because I'm following this. Alright. I'm just checking to make sure I don't hear anything else. This is a box I can open. Nice. Just a ruby. Hurry. Right. There's another flashing light over here, so this has got to be the way we have to go. an enemy in there. The fuck? Must be like beyond this or something. So I gotta reload my shit. Okay, I'm good. Let's switch back. There's an enemy close. Not sure where. But close. Clearing thing up here. Okay. I think we're good. Those freaks had some of the same symptoms as Ouroboros. Oh, we're bringing that back. <laughs> it's a virus some bad people used in Africa a couple of years ago. The question is, how did it get out here? I see a shadow of a dead guy in there. <laughs> okay, um, for those of you wondering, this whole game takes place between Resident Evil 5 and Resident Evil 6. In case you're curious. Oh boy. I don't know what that was. There's a dude there. Yep, dead guy. Alright, I don't think I have to crouch anymore. Uh, I can't believe it. I got out of there alive. I won't say in one piece, but alive. I still can't even process what went on there. All that effort in trying to scare us, toy with us. It was madness. I met up with some guys in the forest, but they didn't believe me. Can't, I, can't say I blamed them. I wouldn't have believed me either. After all, who would dare to go up against one of those... The, sorry, the one who saved us all. I can't do this alone. I went to the communications tower to try to call for help, but I couldn't get a signal through. We're all alone out here, but if we don't get a word outside, we're all done for. Savior? Hell no. She's more like the devil herself. She. She. Quote, she. She. Dead. 
Dead, dead, dead. Alright, so... So we gotta somehow... Can probably break this lock. Oh. <clears throat> Wait. There we go. Don't wanna waste my ammo. As I get more handgun ammo. Alright, let's get down here. They're back. Hide. Yeah, let's just flash a light at them. That'll work. Alright, so there's two of them. I can stealth attack them. I think this is a bottle. L1, R1. Throw? Nice. Should have been a trophy for that. That would have been cool. Let me see if I can find any hidden items around here for Barry. Doesn't look promising. Just another brick, right? Yeah, it's just another brick. Okay, whatever. Alright, so let's go try this door, which is probably not gonna. Oh, maybe it will be. I don't know if I wanna go out here yet, because there's still stuff back there. Anything over here? Any enemies? No? Guess not. She doesn't see any or sense any. She can sense through walls, so... It's locked from the other side. this? Topaz? Alright. That switch. There's nothing over here except for this herb, which I will pick up. Hmm. Okay. Let's grab this so we can get the custom parts in here. I'm glad I came this way. Alright. Down. Up. Sweet. Um... Yeah, that's it. That is it. That's all that was over here. Can't really go any further than that. Just back out the way we came. So I'm glad I came this way because got some custom parts. Okay, so now we just gotta go out here. And we're still looking for Claire and Moira. she sense anything? Oh, there's an item. I'll grab that for you, Barry. 
Handgun ammo. Okay. Can't sense anybody. Oh, oh, oh! Saw that. Okay. Need this. Empty bottle. Plus alcohol. Create sub weapons by combining empty bottles with various. Da, 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 da. Okay, we got it. So, I gotta combine with this. Or cloth for disinfectant. Hmm. And an exploding bottle. So I just need another bottle. Cool. Whoa. Now we're talking. Head for the tower. First things first, I want to go in here. Because there's a bench. And ammo. And tourniquet. Alright. Got a quick load level 1, damage level 1. Alright, so. What's got the least amount of damage? Firepower 85, 100, 700. Upgrade my damage and then probably upgrade my quick load on that okay alright let's see can you sense anybody? Oh. This looks like it's going to be a giant boss area. I'm probably right. <laughs> uh, I don't see anything. I don't see any items or anything. So, uh. The radio tower's just ahead. Guess I'm just running and gunning it, huh? Doesn't look, uh. Looks like there's gonna be like a giant enemy around here. So I'm just gonna look around for a minute. By the off chance, there's going to be something useful to pick up besides bricks. There's a house over here. Okay. Hear you. But I don't. Oh, I see you. All right. Ooh. Hey, strike at a pose. Look at sexy. There's another one. Oh yeah. There's something ahead. Be careful. Okay. So he's on that side. Just making sure there isn't anything in here. No hidden items, secrets. No. 
Okay. Oh, there's a separate room. Mm-hmm. Okay. It's probably gonna be like right in front of me. Yep. Come on out. Come on out. Shit. Ah! Get off me, get off me, get off me. You're dead. What the fuck were you guarding? Probably nothing. Nothing. What was in here? Can you point out to me what was in here? It was so important. If I'm missing anything. Okay. I find it very hard to believe that there there isn't any like hidden items or anything. Wow. All right, fine. Okay. Switch to that. Okay, grab that. It's assault rifle ammo. Awesome. Okay. Now I can go out this way. This is handy. Another herb. Right. Nothing out here, right? Not missing anything, doesn't look it. She's like glitched, so I have to help her. <laughs> Barry, where are you going? Oh, there's an item. Topaz? All right. Now we can start kind of making our way to this. Yeah, there's that's no use, Barry. We're gonna have to smash through the gate. Crap. The beer and notches. Come on, out of my way. I was dodging. Come on. Get out of my way. All right. You know shit.
that guy's dead. Wasting all my ammo. If I get that crane working, I can bash the gate in. Oh, I gotta do that, huh? So I gotta go back in here. Hopefully there's no enemies because I'm just fucking doing this. I need power. Damn it. There's a power source. Power source. Where is there a power source? Hmm. How do I command her to, uh... No. I don't want to heal. Gotta be missing something. It's probably... here. Probably over there where the other enemies broke out of. The enemies, enemies, enemies. I hear him. I don't see him. It's probably in here. It's locked from the other side. And the cat wants my attention, something fierce. So how do I get you on the other side? That's the question. All right. I need you to figure out a way in. Somehow. So this has to be the right way. Okay. Anything? There we go. So that's unlocked so we can come back through it if we need to. can't sense anything. So I think we're okay. Alright. Power? That should get the crane working. Alright. Come on, Moira. There's still like noise like there's an enemy so I don't know if there's just one hiding or he's stuck somewhere but I don't see anybody it doesn't really serve the purpose very well but whatever down through here 
back out. And then we smash it. Nice. <laughs> Who's the master of unlocking now, huh? Come on, hurry. Okay. So many chill references. So many. There's a lot of references for a character who's not even in this game. Okay. Okay. Oh shit. Just run. Awesome. I didn't even see that there! Where was that? Dude, that one went through the wall. That's how far they landed. Went through the wall. Okay. So now we're finally getting to the tower. Finally. Find another route? Well... That was a really long way around. Yeah, it was. Do you see anything around here? No? Okay. She doesn't, so. I'm going to do nothing because I don't have anything. I don't see them here. Where are they? They were here, unless they just ventured off because they didn't see or hear anybody. That's her. That's my baby. was logged six months ago. What? Jesus, Moira. Six months? My daughter's name is... Moira? Yeah. Why? Uh-oh. Hey, kid. Oh, shit. You okay? Six? What? What? Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. The hell? What the hell? What the hell? <laughs> they better not leave like that. Next time on oh, Revelations. Fuck! Moira was trying to get to that tower when I was with her. I need you to take me there. Can you do that? But if we've been infected with something... I promise I'll catch up! Is this the place? The boss it? Don't be scared. So, you finally came, huh? We all have this motherfucking island! <laughs> Damn. You can't leave on a cliffhanger like that. That's not fair. Even if it is just a week, that sucks. But Moira's dead. That can't be right. Next episode, Contemplation. Whew. Six months. Well. That was episode one of Re Resident Evil Revelations 2. And I like the story. It's really good. Um... I think the partnership between Barry and Natalia 
is much better than Claire and Moira said to say. Um, I found the mechanics for Claire and Moira to be not so good. Uh, it could be because of various things. It could be because I didn't utilize my weapons and my health items accordingly. I should have saved them. I should have knifed instead of shot more, but to be fair, this was a first time playthrough, so I did not know what to expect. I didn't know if it was going to come down to a, like a boss fight or several enemies or not. So that kind of fucked me over. That part was very strenuous. It was very annoying. I died like 15 times during that scenario, but I enjoyed the one with Barry and Natalia. I like Natalia's usefulness. It kind of reminds me of um, the partnership in Amy, where the girl, even though she's small, can be helpful and powerful in her own way more than Moira. Moira's just got a crowbar, and she uses a flashlight, which I think is kind of... Like, it's helpful. I get that it blinds enemies, but... To switch back and forth and blind the enemy so much, it's it's not really worth it, unfortunately. But um, overall, I enjoyed it, and I'm I'm looking forward to the future episodes. There's going to be three more episodes, and they're going to come out every week. Um, I think the beginning of the game started off slow because it just kind of wanted you to sink into what happened and what you were doing and where you were going and what was, you know, what what the highlight of the entire scenario was for all of you. And then it picked up to the point where it got interesting, there was more enemies to fight. I actually liked um, some of the crazy kooky enemies with that Barry faced compared to the ones that Claire and Moira faced. I don't care for the big tough guys with the big hammers. I think they're bulky and unnecessary and fucking hard as hell. They're slow, which is good, but my god, one of those attacks and you're fucked when it comes to, you know, those enemies. Um, but yeah, overall, I enjoy it. I recommend that you try it yourself and, you know, don't just take my word for it because maybe... I'm not as good as the game as you are, but regardless, I'd play it again in a heartbeat. Now that I know what's going on and what to expect, I'd play it again and I'd probably do a lot better than I have. Um, but yeah, wow. Took me a long time to get through this game. I started this game at 11 in the morning and it's now 4 o'clock, but to be fair, I did take like a half hour break, so... It took me quite a while to get through this game. Barry's scenario was a little shorter. I probably could have extended it and looked around more, but I didn't. I just kind of wanted to get through it at that point. Episode 1, Penal Colony, end. Three women and a berry. Three women and a berry. Unlocked. Countdown episode 1, Invisible episode 1, Claire figurine, Barry figurine. Uh, Inquisi Inquisitive episode 1, Unlock concept art number 2. Uh, Cure for the afflicted, Unlocked afflicted figurine. I didn't die once with Barry, so that was super helpful. Not good accuracy with him though. What are those bugs that I didn't get or collect? That must be the larva that they mentioned in, in one of the pause screens when I was dying so many times with Claire. They mentioned that something about um, Natalia can collect some kind of larva, and that must be what that is. And I didn't get all the medals either. So we're going to upload some skill settings real quick, and I'm going to crack my neck as I scratch it. Um, proceed with that. Attack while dashing. That's helpful. Use their weapons while AI controlled. 
That's helpful. This is super helpful. That's also helpful. Um, follow up with the crowbar. Charge attacks. Enemy attacks miss more easily during evasion. That's also handy. Momentary invincibility upon crouching. It's about all I can do. So that was Revelation Resident Evil Revelations 2 Episode 1. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm looking forward to future episodes. I hope that I'm going to get a little bit better in time with everything. I may end up replaying this. I know I'm going to be doing a lot of raid mode and try to practice on killing some enemies, so hopefully I won't be as bad next time. But uh, I'll see you guys soon. Hope you enjoyed this and take care everyone. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.